Yeah, hi guys, this is Saad Mohammed, the Desi Mountaineer, right now at K2 Base Camp, and with me is Antonina. Did I spell that right? Yeah, right. Oh, I'm getting good at Ukrainian <laughs> or Russian. Uh, so, yeah, so guys, um, as you know, um, I'm here to climb Broad Peak. Antonina is going to be climbing K2 with the feather on the hat and all. It'll be a literal <laughs> feather on her hat, and we trekked together all the way from Jula to. She took her to base camp, I brought big base camp. So today I came over uh, just to meet all who are here. Just got to meet Samina and Nazira, and now I'm meeting uh, Antonina. So I'm gonna uh, <laughs> sip it now and let her talk and talk about um, how did she end up in mountaineering and is this her first 8000er or um, what else has she climbed before? So yeah, all to you. Okay. I'm uh, in mountaineering for four years. Wow. Uh, yeah, from 2018. Even, okay. Yeah, okay. almost five years. Amazing. I started with Kilimanjaro, as many people do. <laughs> Kilimanjaro, wow, Africa. Yeah, Africa. I would love to go there. <laughs> and for now, I have uh, one 8,000. Okay. Uh, it's Everest. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, t the tallest one. The tallest one, yeah. Amazing, amazing. So now I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> Downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Everest was this year, okay. this spring, oh, 2022. Fresh. Yeah. You, know, you don't look like you've not, I don't mean to be rude, but you don't look you've just climbed Everest. <laughs> uh, I don't look like I suffered a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that too. I enjoyed Everest. Okay, actually, okay. Yeah. amazing, amazing. I believe. So, uh, actually, maybe, maybe I would end up the uh, program eight. Okay. Uh, no, seven summits. Okay. So I had already Kilimanjaro, Elbrus, Vincent, wow. yeah, Antarctica. So K2 wasn't Everest. really part of that. No. <laughs> K2 is part of another program, 14 peaks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good choice. Uh, so I climbed a, a little bit of mountains. <laughs> uh -huh. So as, as a kid growing up, uh, what inspired you or what brought you to mountaineering? Because uh, you, you just said that you started 2018, 17, four or five years ago. Before that, were you into adventure sports? Were you skiing? Were you bungee jumping? What? No. <laughs> no? Nothing. Never nothing. Uh, actually, I'm quite sporty person hmm. from the birth. Okay, so yeah. I have some strength, but I never have been involved in uh, some kind of sport, okay. especially extreme sports. Okay. And uh, but I w always would like to. Yeah. So okay. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't my idea actually to go to mountain. Okay. Uh, one of my friends uh, invited me to go to Kilimanjaro. It was hmm. five of, of us. Okay. Yeah, and uh, actually we did the uh, four mountains together. Wow. Yeah, and then I started to do it alone. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna say that because usually when you climb, when I went to buy my first tent, I said I want a two-person tent, and the guy said you're, you're smart because friendships do break on mountains. Yeah. That does happen. But you guys climbed four peaks together, four or five. Yeah, four peaks. Okay, and I'm not gonna ask why you went your own solo day. Maybe because you were starting to climb more serious mountains. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's okay. why. Amazing, amazing. Uh, they. Actually, I think that for them uh, it was hard mountain. Uh, the first one I did alone, Vincent mm. in Antarctica. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then I got the addiction to mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can totally imagine. So this is your first time in Pakistan, yes, and right. now you've been to Islamabad, you've been to Skartu, yes. and now you're in front of K2. So um, how has your experience been so far with the people and uh, the place itself? The first that uh, I felt about Pakistan is that you are extremely uh, hosting people. So yeah. I've never in my life met uh, such kind of uh, hospitality. <laughs> wow. That's true. I even uh, talked to my family in Skardo on phone and told them uh, like, you can't believe like <laughs> everybody is ready to help here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm, they never helped me though. Okay. <laughs> No, I can imagine. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is how but it that's is. That's my experience. Yeah, no, no. If if I, if I were you, no, uh, not that way. If if you're you and I'm I'm, I'm gonna invite you to lunch anyway. <laughs> yeah, I can so imagine. So yeah. that's the first that uh, 
went into my mind uh, about Pakistan and uh, you your country is very uh, different from others yeah. as I can feel even mountains here hmm. are different <laughs> more rugged more, uh, more natural rocky, yeah more natural uh, they are tremendous but for example Himalayas are also impressive mountains. yeah they are they're quite different yeah, yeah. they're more green and yeah. here you feel the power of nature like oh. even without any greenery but you feel this power of rocks <laughs> yeah true <laughs> and true. snow I, I felt the same way when, when I went to Nepal everything was the tree line was above 4,000 I yeah. was like wow they're still there yeah Over here it's it ends at 3,500 max yeah max. no population after that there's you, you you find villages above 4,500 in Nepal yes and love Puchi and whatnot Puchi. Over here no village yes after schooling. and that's why this expedition differs from from others from the very beginning so from Skardu we started with jeeps on mm, jeeps yeah. so it was the most extreme road <laughs> in my life. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, it is. Several times I was like, oh my god, <laughs> bye bye my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then we get here, like not here, but yeah. uh, to Ascoli and Jula. Ascoli. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> and started from there, mm. hiking, mm. and each day was different and uh, very impressive. So I enjoyed a lot. This is the true expedition. If you, if, you, if, you, if you like the Jeep ride, then I would recommend going to Shimshal. And you're gonna enjoy that Jeep ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> I can see it's yep, not yep. that easy. <laughs> you're getting us now. <laughs> well, well, lovely, lovely meeting you, Antonia. And it was uh, amazing, fun talking to you. And thank you for um, agreeing to talk to me. And uh, inshallah, see you on the summit. Thank you, thank inshallah. You. <laughs>